I think this week, to be very candid, I think they felt that there was some degree of naivety, if not worse, on the British side to believe that somehow, if you could just get to leaders and to uh, Frau Merkel and Monsieur Macron, and they could break through in some way, they'd be in a different position from Michel Barnier, and they would sort it out at leader level. That's simply not, when you're a third country and you're outside the European Union, that's not the way the European Union is ever going to negotiate with a third country leader, whether it's Boris Johnson or anybody else. So this sense that the UK sometimes has that it's being uniquely victimised, you know, I've sat dealing with third countries and non-European players in the European Union for uh, representing the UK for a very long time. This is how the EU deals on trade issues with any third country partner. And you don't get to see individual leaders to try and divide and rule the European Union. That's never going to work. So I think Wednesday didn't go very well. It doesn't surprise me it didn't go very well. All the signs were bad before the dinner. And there were very clear messages in what Frau Merkel said to the Bundestag on Wednesday morning, that there were going to be difficulties over non-regression and evolution clauses. And indeed, there are.